government has decided to reintroduce the payment of a stipend to student nurses after nearly eight years of its cessation. This move will benefit 273 student nurses to the tune of approximately $2 million per year. This change in policy is expected to give added incentive to Barbadians to join the nursing profession and help to reduce the current nursing shortage. In addition, government has set out clear criteria by which student nurses will qualify for the payment of the financial stipend. The reintroduction of the stipend will make it possible for students not having to work and study at the same time while providing some compensation to students for the services provided to healthcare facilities as a component of their clinical training. The stipend will only be provided for the duration of the four-year program. The nursing profession in Barbados continues to face shortages across all government institutions. The QAH has recruited 95 nurses from Ghana to assist with the shortage. In addition, 111 Cuban nurses were recruited to assist the government in its COVID-19 response. Meanwhile, a delegation from the QAH and the Ministry of Health is currently in Ghana recruiting additional nurses. First-year nursing students will be paid a stipend of $458.89 per month, second year $578.53, third year $698.16, and fourth year $798.16. The students will be subject to a two-year government performance bond after completion of their four-year nursing degree. Currently, there are 69 first year, 59 second year, 87 third year, and 89 fourth year students, a total of 304. However, I wish to make it clear that approximately 31 student nurses presently employed in the public sector will not qualify for the stipend because they are already employed. Nursing students will be required to maintain passing grades for all courses according to the criteria set by the Barbados Community College, attendance in classroom and clinical areas, in addition to other requirements set by the ministry, which will be communicated to all nursing students. Nursing students, while engaged in clinical training under appropriate supervision, are expected to administer services in keeping with the level of expertise which they have attained at a particular time. As part of their training, students provide services to polyclinics, medical, surgical, obstetrics, and pediatric wards at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. The turnover in nursing is also due to migration and an aging nurse workforce. I would like to make a special appeal to young persons to consider nursing as a noble career. The Barbados Community College offers a four-year nursing degree program. With this incentive of a stipend, the financial pressure on parents and families would be reduced while increasing the number of nurses, which would allow for the expansion of new services in healthcare. Healthcare is fast becoming a major sector for employment, not only for nurses, but biomedical technicians and engineers, radiographers, radiotherapists, ultrasound technicians, and other specialist auxiliary areas with millions being invested in health in private health care in Barbados. The time for persons to commence training is now to take advantage of those expanding health care employment opportunities that will arise when the health care investment projects materialize.